You're listening to the world's smartest podcast network. When I go to Sacramento, I will pump up Sacramento. Sacramento. Some say the news is fake. Others say it's real. These two don't have the time to check. Instead, Turner Sparks and Michael Ira Kaplan turn to comics stationed around the globe to be their eyewitness reporters so that you can know what's really going on. This is Lost in America. All right, everybody, welcome to Lost in America, episode 236. My name's Turner Sparks. And I am Mikael Kaplinko. Whoa! <laughs> you can find me at Turner Sparks on all social media platforms. Check out, go to turnersparks.com to buy tickets to my upcoming tour. I will be on tour September, October, November into December 2021. Oh. Oh, yeah. Also, get tickets now. Kaplan, check out Kaplan. Kaplan America, everywhere. Kaplan Twitter. America, <laughs> across all social media platforms. Instagram, everything, yep. Kaplan, on the podcast today, we are talking about the great country of Ukraine. The Ukraine. You say the Ukraine. Is it the or is it just I th- Ukraine? I think that's going to be my first question. I believe you say the Ukraine. Okay. <laughs> the Kaplan. That's- we are talking about the Ukraine today. They have a president who they've had for two years now, um, and he is a comedian. He's a Jewish comedian. I mean, he's a real hero. A real he hero. He became president. <laughs> he was playing a president on TV. In like a movie, they, right? Or a t- yeah, he was just like a it spoof. was a TV show. Yeah, yeah. As far as I understand, he was playing a president, like a comedy TV show, like a bumbling comedian. Who uh, somehow becomes president. Who somehow becomes president, and then he said, "Hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> Why don't I run for president?" And everyone yeah. said, "I don't." It was like remember when Jamie Fox played um, Ray Charles, and then he decided he should be a singer. That he should be blind. Yeah, he should be blind, <laughs> and he should be like a singer <laughs> and play piano. And then he started putting out albums where he played <laughs> piano and sang. And everyone's like, and "What like, are you doing? You're okay. Like, you're good for an actor as a singer, but you're not a singer." Yeah, everyone's exactly. like, "Relax. We like the movie. We don't." No. You know, Will Ferrell made a basketball movie. He didn't then try out for the <laughs> NBA. He should have. That That's great. not the way it goes. But this guy decides he went- he's going to be president, and everyone yeah. said that sounds cool. So then um, he became president. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But Kevin, how, we're going to find out how he did. How We're going to find out how he did but before we do cap. Um, if you want to support this show, which we know people do, we know people are listening and loving this show and please tell your friends. That's one way to do it, but a better way to do it. A much better way is to give us money. Yes. Money and talks. We, yeah. Money talks. Five dollars a month gets you us talking three extra times a week doing our live from the bunker full throttle comedy podcast. Just Kaplan and I half an hour each episode. Listen to it on the way to work, on the way home from work. Forget morning radio on your lunch break, wherever you want. Just listen at work. If you're Let us home. be your morning radio. Let us be your <laughs> drive time radio. Let us be the people bringing you home at the end of the day. Yeah, we'll, we'll cheer you up. We'll, we'll five we'll, bucks a month. Go to patreoncom slash lost in America. And this or, week you're talking about uh, your jury duty. Oh, my gosh. I had jury duty yesterday, (laughs) two days ago. It was like being in a prison cell for eight. And now I know what it feels like to be a prisoner. Yes. (laughs) I'll tell you that much. That's the teaser. (laughs) Yeah. They should. All these people marching to get prisoners out of jail. You should be marching to get people out of jury duty (laughs) because that was a disaster. (laughs) Give me pardon. Pardon him from jury duty. I never wanted again in my (laughs) life. Governor Cuomo, please. Please get me out of jury duty. So that's uh, patreon.com slash lost in America. Now, Kaplan, back to today's episode. What do you know about, um, first of all, this president who, what's his name? We should Zelensky is his first name, right? Zelensky is his last name. Or last name, right. But I mean, you, go, you call him by their last name. You just, for, it's cultural. Which is president probably. Zelensky. <laughs> is it really? No, it like I, just, China? I just messed up. So let's go with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. President Zelensky. Um, <laughs> What I do know, you know, but besides the TV stuff, that we've I mean, I out. know that his parents wanted him to like uh, didn't didn't support his dreams of becoming an act. A very classic <laughs> Jewish parents. He sounds like he had. And the jokes on them because he became this great comedian who then wait, they didn't ex- they didn't support what dream? Becoming I think they wanted president? him to become like an engineer or something. And he just like said, no, I'm not going to do that. And so I'm going to become then, president. I'm going <laughs> to no, so, no. And I know, look. Ukraine has a they had a dispute with Russia a few years ago, right? We know Russia went in there and a few years ago, some... I think a few weeks ago as well. <laughs> well, it's been going on. It's been ongoing. So it's been in the news. And I've been fascinated by the idea of like how Putin, because we talk a lot about Putin on this podcast, how Putin deals with 
uh, a comedian as a president, as a rival. Comedian? He's not a woman. <laughs> a comedian? Well, that's how Putin, that's I'm picturing how Putin says it. The comedian <laughs> over in Ukraine. Do you think Putin knows the term comedian? <laughs> yeah. I, which was like very briefly, up on it. This is a term for com com comedians who are female, which was briefly woke in like the early 1990s, only because the previous idea to that was that comedians had to be men. Yes, in America. Well, and so then they're like, oh, it's a comedian, which when you like think Russian bots created that they created Latinx, they created comedian, they went in disinformation to make us all argue. But so he knows did. about it. So he knows about it. And he I'm sure is like, I could push this guy around. But it seems like you he's this guy's uh, not being pushed around. Ukraine's uh, trying to stand up for themselves, talking to, you know, Biden was just over meeting with, with, with Putin and they were talking about the Ukraine, I think. So I don't know. What do you, th what do you, what <laughs> does that make sense? What do you know about this guy? I know he's a hero of yours because you want to be president one day. That's the whole point of this podcast. I would, <laughs> I don't want to be president. I want someone else to be president and I want to like my brother and I want to be a shadow figure oh, that's that's in the true. administration. Yeah. But he is a hero just because, uh, cause he, he's a comedian and he's doing things beyond comedy. But I, but listen, I don't know if he's any good. That's my right. big question because do you assume, cause we, we brought in a celebrity president, right? We brought in a guy who, had Trump. Taught, Trump, yeah, who told people to be fired and all that. And people thought he was a great businessman. And it, some people say it didn't go great. So do, is your fear that it's not going great over there? Because ultimately... That's my fear. Yeah, yeah, because here's the thing. I did a lot of research the last few days, and I can't find... I don't know what his plan was when he right. became president for the country. The only plan I saw is that the previous presidents were all these oligarchs. Yeah. Right. They're just rich. They own TV stations. They own oil companies. They're in bed with Putin. They're shaking hands with Putin. And his whole platform seems to be, I'm not going to be that. But Which is beyond great, that, I didn't see what he had. What was he going to do about the railroad? What was he going to do about the infrastructure? I don't know what he was going to do about anything. And so I'm wondering, did he ever come up with a plan? Did he actually come up did with he anything? Wait for the writers. Does he talk to the writers to like his write, comedy writers? His TV, no, his TV show and be like, yeah, yeah, what yeah. would happen in the next season? What would the president do in this situation? So we have I, today. Let's bring him in. We yeah. have a fantastic Ukrainian comedian based in the Ukraine, based in <laughs> Kiev. He is multi, uh, multiple things. He's a stand-up comedian. He's a radio host. He's a screenwriter. He's the best comedian in the Ukraine. He's the richest comedian. <laughs> he in the told Ukraine. us off air. He said the rest of the Ukrainian comedians are a bunch of like cavemen, and he's <laughs> he's the richest. He's known as the money bags of the comedians. Who like, Anton yeah. Timoshenko, welcome to the show. And I want to introduce you by saying that I I just watched a video a few minutes ago of you yeah. performing for the president. And make on like a almost like a last comic standing type game show and making him laugh. So congratulations, yeah, to you, sir. Yeah, yeah nice thank work. you, thank you for asking uh, for uh, advice me. Uh, not, okay, I'm I'm lose my English for now <laughs> for this no second. Problem. Thank, you nervous, we know. <laughs> thank you for inviting me to the show. Yeah, it's my uh, this is the highest rank of my career that I have uh, a guest <laughs> wow. on uh, America's some kind of show <laughs> we're an american some kind of show that is exactly yeah. how we describe <laughs> ourselves even <laughs> even on podcast that's that's really nice yeah yeah i want some money uh i want some, zelensky mr zelensky give me some money like four years ago for my oh, comedy so this yeah. was a tv show it was like a competition comedy yeah show? it's a competition then uh, the comic uh, comedian uh, had like a uh, five minutes to make the people laugh and if you make it you'll get money if you're not you just go back to your village and live your <laughs> poor, your, your poor, your village. Your poor Ukrainian idol. life. Yeah. <laughs> only only the Lensky had money <laughs> four years ago. Only he. Oh, so it was his money, the president's money. I'm not sure that he's, he's like had a big company with a lot of money. He makes some films, shows. You oh, know, win like Zelensky's money. Production. <laughs> win the president's <laughs> money. I took money from Zelensky, but he still won the election. So he... He yes, we money. should say that wait, you when you performed for him and you did make he, him laugh, he was a yeah. judge, like how they have like Roseanne in America will be a last comic yes, stand. Regular, used to. Yeah. Regular Jew. Regular Jew. <laughs> regular <laughs> Jew. It's <laughs> a lot of money, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. You, oh, you said about <laughs> you said he yes, he then he made a film, Servant of People, this uh, a serial about Oh yeah, was uh, that a TV the, the show? That, or was that a film? Yeah, there was a TV, there's a film. I like like a Stranger Things serial, yeah? Episodes. Yeah, like yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, an episode like a drama, yeah. Or- drama, yeah. And the story was about the the, the small uh, the usual teacher like become a president, and this story was very popular. Even the Netflix bought this story or. Uh, or translation. Wow. And after that, he decided, wow, this is a really good drama. <laughs> so maybe I can make a drama uh, for real life. And uh, I had a stand up show, and I uh, like my joke about that. Uh, a lot of people in Ukraine say it like, like they are out of politics, you know, they're not interested in politics because it's too difficult. I said that in Ukraine for now, the, the politics are very interesting because our president has on IMDb seven points his film has seven <laughs> points like the last uh, fast and furious has like five and two points you know <laughs> our president better than fast and furious better than nice. vin diesel he's better re- than he's diesel. better reviewed that's pretty good yeah, so we need to be interested in and yes uh we have a lot of jokes about that in ukraine probably ukraine is the best place for a comedian career in the world because for example in usa your highest rank for a comedian like what like to be a host of a late night show right this is yes. the highest rank of the comedian in usa in ukraine the highest rank of the comedian to be the host of the country <laughs> so <laughs> we are waiting for dave Chappelle, all these guys <laughs> dave Chappelle to ukraine. Be the next president dave Chappelle yeah, for next yeah, president i mean yeah <laughs> i'm listening your your start your opening uh, information yes uh, you um, you're talking about that you will you didn't uh, find uh, some kind of plan of Belensky yeah, what's on his, his plan? election, right? Yeah, yeah. This, is a, this is the funniest part because he didn't have a plan <laughs> he goes to election. And my mom, my mom, uh, she voted for Zelensky on elections, president elections. And I asked my mom, what are you doing? Why are you voting for this guy who has no experience on this in the, in the politics? And she said, oh, don't worry, Anton. Uh, Zelensky will have like a good team. He's I said, Andrew okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said, okay, ma- mom, could you um, named a couple of guys from his team? And she's like, uh, well, uh, that's, uh, that's not important. And he's a good guy. <laughs> that's, <laughs> a good guy. This was like, yeah, this was like, uh, well, that's was, what, it really was all these part guys. Of the film. I mean, this happened in our country too. You, what you do, if you have no experience, you say, I'm going to get the smartest people in the country I'm, to be on I'm going to delegate. Yeah. I'm going to listen to them. Yeah. And you don't yeah. have to name yeah. who they are. You just say, I'm going to yeah. get the best people from Wall Street, the best people from the hospital the industry. I'm yeah. the first one who's ever thought of that idea. No one else has thought <laughs> of getting the best people. Most Everyone people else. get the, your standard politician gets the worst people. <laughs> <laughs> It was like a, it was like a film, you know. You feeling like you live in a film. Zelensky go for a pre- vote, go for the president elections. People like, wow, it's maybe it's our dream. He he gives them the very uh, popular message for the people and really close for the people's hearts. He just said, "I'll beat all the evil in Ukraine and make yes. everything good." And people like, that's enough for us. Yeah, no one's <laughs> ever thought of that. Enough. Yeah, so nobody what? likes evil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what was um, what was it like before him? Like, why would this work? Who was the president before? How was the president before him so bad? Because he won. Uh, Zelensky won was seventy five percent in the second round. Seventy five percent of the voters voted for him. You know that this seventy five percent. It's not uh, like seventy five percent of all the people in Ukraine because for the elections, like only maybe. 50% of the people go for elections, like half okay. of the country go for the vote. So there's 75% of the half of the, and you know, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not all the country. Yeah. Uh, our president before was Petro Poroshenko and he wasn't be like a bad guy because he make for us like a, how to say in English, we can go abroad in Europe without special documents. He made these uh, negotiations that give us a possibility to go like for uh, in France without special visa, just okay. his passport, one passport. That's good. And he also some some kind for church he made. The main the main mistake of Petr Poroshenko that he concentrated his uh, election company on three main words. He said, we need army, we need our native language, and we need uh, religion. But I have a joke in my stand-up. I say that's really uh, not more than a message because we have three words: uh, army, language, religion. If we put out language, we will have 
like ISIS, you know, <laughs> army, army and religion. <laughs> Yeah, your message like jihad on 70%. So that's not like, uh, not uh, sounds like some good idea. Everybody knows that we have war with Russia. That's very important. We need to struggle. But people want something more modern. And Zelensky, uh, he he makes people believe that he can, he can change all the game. Because our president before, Petro Poroshenko, we have, you know, we like, in Ukraine, we have like a couple of guys who always in a power, like uh, okay. like five, five or six people who always on TV, these old guys who always uh, steal some kind of money, somebody more, somebody less. And Zelensky was like people from other planet. He just, I never was in politics, so I'm the cleanest guy in Ukrainian politics because I was never in this politics. Yeah. So choose me. I'm the cleanest one. I'm the goodest one. And because of the, because of this message, because people in Ukraine are believe in a in a miracle, <laughs> they decide, wow, this is a fairy tale. We saw the TV show. This was fantastic on TV show. Probably it can be a real life. I mean, so we, Ukraine. Yeah, it's not just Ukraine. I'm from California, and this yeah. was the exact message in the '90s or early 2000s of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He you became our governor, <laughs> and the, his whole message was, "I've never been in." It, it, he made it. Yeah, they make it so that having no experience sounds like a good thing. They go, "I've never done this before." I'm yeah. clean. I'm I'm gonna I'm rich, so I'll use my own money. I don't need other yeah, people's money. Yeah, yeah. And then the and same then, stuff. Boom. Yeah. And then they become and then they win. And then Schwarzenegger didn't really do very much when he was yeah. in there. But what about um okay, so basically he's like, I'm gonna get rid of all the old oligarchs and yeah. I'm gonna come in and clean everything up. Yeah. I guess let's start with should we start with Russia, Kaplan? Well, I mean, because if you go back, was it in like 2014? There was the right. There was the guy, Victor. Who was the there was a there was, Petro there was Poroshenko. Some, Petro right. Poroshenko. He came in after the other guy was exiled to Russia. Yanukovych, right? yeah, who ran away to Russia. He ran away. And, yeah. So so yeah. is a part of. So how did it how, how do we how did those guys do like the guy before Zelensky to make people, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, because there was a all like Ukrainian, like sort of national. Right like fervor in a way. Right. And then these guys fell apart or like, how did, how did they get to the point where you wanted Zelensky? Like we just uh, talked commun- about that cap. No, but I mean, once mind. again, please, once again, he, <laughs> we just uh, talked cap, about cap, cap can't believe why, <laughs> why he bought <laughs> Petro Poroshenko. Yeah. Did. No, but I guess well, my know, point that- is, is that, is that the, the dealing with Russia, like is, yeah, you were Turner, you were saying Russia. That's why I got my brain, but you said, they came in, they took the area, and then what does he would he say what he would do about it basically, other than the oligarchs or yeah, this is the Russia question is maybe one of the points why Zelensky win too, because uh Petro Poroshenko in 2014, when he became the president of Ukraine after a revolution on Maidan, a lot of people was on Maidan, I was on Maidan too, and Petro Poroshenko was on Maidan. He said, Guys, I'll do all the best I can, I'll deal with Russia because I'm a businessman, I'm a, Petro Poroshenko was kind of a clean guy because he was not so many times in politics. He just like, I'm a businessman. I have a lot of money, so choose me. I will not steal money because I already have one. And uh, he, uh, one of the main promise of Petro Poroshenko in 2014 was I will stop the war with Russia. But end of the five years, he, he didn't stop the war. And uh, I can, I, it's difficult to say what kind of progress he made like because we had this war all these years and people continue to die so i think because of that uh, people decide to change the main guy because maybe zelensky will try if petro poroshenko will didn't get so maybe zelensky will will do and and i study for political science and probably uh, i can say that uh, i wasn't a fan of zelensky for example but uh, i know that for uh, for power, that's even better when uh, the the main guy will change. It's always important to change the president and the parliament to make this moving. The people, elites, elites need to move all the elites, times yeah. because yeah, because if one guy or group of guy like ten years or fifteen years in power, this always makes some bad stuff because they have too much power. Absolutely, so power. That's, yeah, that's a nice experience too. Uh, one of the one of the one good, of the positives. Uh, one of the positive sides of Zelensky win, that was that we have like a lot of old politics who was in politics like 20, of, 20 years in Ukraine, always like argue on TV, these old guys and women. 
and and then just just guy from TV show fucked up all these guys and they all, all, all I'm just it's very mm, nice to me to imagine like Petro Poroshenko and uh, boy Timoshenko all the our old politics like sitting on TV and understand that all of them all of them lose the election for some guy from TV show I mean so nice. far yeah. this sounds almost exactly like our country we had the Clinton family and the uh, the Bush family had run what, what was, I, I don't nah, know what was the exact the amount time. of years. It was like 12. Well, Obama had been in, but yeah. No. T- yeah. But just those two families from 1988 like, until well, Bush had been a vice president. So if you go back to 1980, yeah, 1980 Bush or Clinton had been in power until 2008, 2008. And then Hillary and thought she would run again. Obama. And then she yes. lost to Obama. And Hillary. And they were trying to get back in. The Clintons were trying to get back in. <clears throat> And this guy from TV, Trump, just came and, and oh, right. ah, but, ah, you're saying demolished Trump. all of them. So it's <laughs> yeah, really Trump exactly also he, uh, he also was an actor. Yeah, a couple of he, uh, Home I mean, Alone. He was in Home Alone too. <laughs> like uh, yeah. <laughs> he was. So how's it going? So how is uh, Zelensky no. doing with Russia? Let's start there. Yeah, like how's okay, the yeah. yeah, because yeah, that's Putin that's really has, difficult. Putin mm-hmm. has people at the he put uh, armies military at the border of Ukraine a all few months ago, right? Yeah, all the time. Uh, he yeah, also that Crimea thing. Um, he just yeah, shot a warship yesterday or something. In English, he just uh, this uh, Russia is a uh, like typical empire, and uh, this is kind of uh, empire politic. They always need to show the muscles, like okay, yeah. we have weapons. So and the problem that ukraine one of the nearest point to russia so that's that's because we in this in this situation right now as difficult it's a little bit difficult to analyze um, if zelensky better on or worse before comparing with poroshenko about his uh, russian handling because a lot of stuff going on um, for example one of the shifting what's changed for example for last years uh, zelensky have had some kind of negotiations with Russia and we stopped the shooting, for example. But uh, what means stop the shooting uh, for Russia for, or for people in DNR and LNR, like for the soldiers of DNR and LNR? Ukrainian army stopped shooting because of this negotiation, but uh, the soldiers from DNR and LNR continue to shoot in, and we can't uh, shoot in because we have this negotiation, because we have like a kind of peace. But they are continuing to shoot some, some, mm. and this like because uh, because uh, Russia are not so uh, fair in negotiations. You know they can say, "Oh yes, Ukraine, we will stop shoot. We will say these guys in the air not to shoot," and then continue to shoot. So Zelensky uh, always said, "I'm I'm already stopped the war. I'm not finished the war, but I stop shooting. I." St- I make all the stuff to stop shooting. <laughs> I stop but you shooting. know that they're continuous. You know, we stop shooting, but they continue to shoot in us. Sh- and in this case, it's difficult to understand uh, is it progress or no. Zelensky tried to make some balance. Zelensky understands that Ukraine can solve this problem by ourselves. We can handle with Russia by ourselves. So we need to help from USA, Europe, all other countries. He had negotiations. But I need to say that Petro Poroshenko was a little bit better uh, negotiator, you know. He had uh, better diplomacy missions he had. Because Zelensky, yeah. yeah, because, you know, the negotiations with Zelensky can end with impeachment for president of your country. Yes, so yes. when you're talking on phone with <laughs> yes. president of Zelensky. So well, yeah, nice. let's, let's talk about that. But just before, I just want to say one thing. Kaplan, this is such an interesting perspective because – our le- the leaders of our country have always said either like, oh, we need to continue. We need to stay and say, for example, Afghanistan, right, or we a- want peace. But we're so used to well, it's such a luxury that being peaceful or not being peaceful is up to us. Yeah, it's our choice. There's no there's never fighting on our land. Yeah, you're have, the one getting our- attacked. You can say I want peace, but if the other person keeps punching you in the face, like what? It's yeah, like not what up is to you. what you can? You need so yeah, because people are. Yeah. Di- it's not a full flung war, but there's people are still dying. I saw like, like yeah, 25 yeah. soldiers have died this yeah. year in Ukraine. So what? And is there any goal? Like, there's nothing you can accomplish, right? There's no, there's no land you our, can. Our 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 next step with this, uh, how we uh, how Zelensky imagined the progress. He would like, he wants to include, we have negotiations with like Russia. We have a round table. It means like Minsk negotiations where we had Zelensky, Putin and uh, Macron from France, American from Germany, 
like four guys. He would like to include USA and Great Britain in this new exchange to make it more wide. Yes. It's like Normand, as I remember, Normand's negotiations. So now we're waiting to include more people in this. Uh, in this. Okay. And what is it? Um, well, yeah, let's, should we get, well, what does it seem like? Does it seem like the U.S. wants to be involved or is going to be involved? Uh, there was a couple of days ago was uh, Joe Biden and Putin's uh, this meeting in Geneva. We, yeah. we, we don't know what they're talking about because it was like hiding meeting. That we also, we it's on, behind we closed only doors. Have a, closed doors and we also have only a press conference after that. And on this press conference, Putin said a lot of, what about ism stuff? I know yes. this word now. <laughs> I learned yeah. from what about, what about it? Good. Well, yeah. oh, what about you? You say it's it's not a negotiation. So I, we don't we don't understand for now what Joe Biden position is. We know that Joe Biden, uh, as he said, he likes Ukraine. He was in Ukraine a lot of times. And but for now, for example, I know that uh, USA canceled the sanction of the North Tube Two. You know the uh, the, pa- the pipeline. The pipe, yeah. yeah Thank you, were. North Tube. I knew where you were going that time. <laughs> yeah, the pipeline. Uh, so this looks like, okay, Joe Biden tried He's, to find he... the balance between Putin, Merkel in Germany and Ukraine. So now I'm not sure what the... It's a pipeline was. going from Russia to Germany. To Germany, yeah. That, that we, we don't support pipelines in America, but we're okay with that pipeline. <laughs> so oil pipeline? An oil pipeline. Putin, it's yeah. important to Putin, so we sort of important. kiss yeah. stuff to Putin in, in respect, right? Yeah, well, we, not, we don't support something that goes through Native American land, but as yeah, long we as don't, it goes through Ukrainian land, who cares? It helps Germany. Germany is important to Germany, too, as we talked about. <laughs> I also yeah. find it funny that Putin is now, like with all the whataboutisms you were saying, he's somehow yeah. now very in favor of the Black Lives Matter movement I know, in America. A, <laughs> like he's a real... He's love. like, you don't think we treat our people well. What about Black Black Lives Matter. I would what love about to see him Capit- marching with Black Capitoli. Lives Matter. Yeah, well, Putin just, he has, he, he, wrote a, yeah. he wrote an op-ed this week where he said that the U.S. In, uh, engineered a coup in Ukraine in 2014. Like he, he just, has, he just says anything. Like he just, it sees what sticks, but. He's he, an internet troll who's do, a president. Do the people, yeah, exactly. And it reminds me though, do, you mentioned Biden. Do the people of Ukraine think like Americans, like do they think Obama should have done more back in, with the Crimea, do we think like Amer- you guys think like America should be more involved in stopping Putin from some of these aggressive acts, or do they understand that it's we're trying to sort of play the middle in a way, or not? Or You're not asking trying- what people in Ukraine like, do people think want about America Obama? to do? More- yeah, were they upset that America didn't do more, or more- they want Biden to do more? As I remember, or- as I remember, people in Ukraine loves Obama and they don't love Trump and oh. they love Biden. So look, okay. it's really similar, I think, for, okay. for usual people. And we, may, we uh, Zelensky tried to make Trump impeachment <laughs> by the phone. We, we tried to help. We try to help us. We, we should get, yeah, we should bring that yeah, up. Yeah, let's get, to, okay, so let's get to this. Just to remind our listeners, there was an impeachment trial uh, of President Trump a couple years yeah. ago, and yeah. this all came, Ukraine was heavily involved in this. This happened because, (laughs) yes, because um, let's see. Trump got on a phone call with President Zelensky, the comedian president we're all talking about here. And allegedly there was reports that Trump. So Hunter Biden, uh, Joe, uh, Hunter Biden was running for president at this time, I believe. And his son, Hunter Biden, who's a crackhead, a crazy person, also apparently is on the board of a Ukrainian company. And was getting paid, was it fifty thousand dollars a month or something, to sit on this board? Because you know Hunter Biden, I'm sure he's doing crack in a Baltimore. A crack basement. expensive. He, he, he needed money. Ukraine. He needed a job. He's he also least- an expert of Ukraine of Ukrainian politics. So a uh, Ukrainian oil. So he's on the board of a Ukrainian oil company. So then the the um, allegation is that Trump called Zelensky and pressured him to somehow investigate Biden. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. How was the story told in the Ukraine? Yeah. Well, let me remember. As it was very negative for Zelensky, a lot of people said you can't, you can't. Uh, there was like a transcription of this conversation, and there was a the phrase of Zelensky that he said, "Don't worry, uh, my prosecutor is one hundred my person in Ukraine, so we will deal." And this uh, sounds Whoa. like out, authority, very authoritical uh, mm. stuff. You know, Zelensky was a hero for first two months in ukraine when okay. he became president people think yeah zelensky he'll change all this stuff and after two months uh some different stuff becomes to uh, so what yeah became. okay 
So this is one says, of the stuff. Like the, he uh, tried, he started to make some kind of mistakes. That was one of the mistakes. Like he said, prosecutor is my guy. So if you need, he he didn't say like the accurate stuff. Like I'll help you, I'll help you, Trump. But his words was like, uh, you can understand uh, from other point mm. of view, like for, for both weak? sides. No. Yeah. And like, why would he? Very, very, yeah, I see. He's a politician. He, he learned quickly how to be a politician. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. So prosecutor and, and- is my guy. So that's one of the stuff why he lose his popularity in Ukraine after this scam. Maybe he just thought it would be good in a TV show sense. It's more interesting. He's doing what's yeah, interesting. Yeah, he wants. Except a, the United States watching. president wants needs, you to. People need, people need to watch. I need to make something I, interesting for now. Oh, can I say this stuff? Oh, this will be nice. <laughs> and why would he, why would it be in his uh, best interest to help Trump in that situation? Why is it good for him to help Trump? Mm, I'm not sure it will be good for him. I just think in the Zelensky. For this moment, when this negotiation was, he was in power how many times, how long? Like not, not long. a year, not long. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think he will not, he didn't understand all the picture. And I think he just tried to not, he just tried to not to lose the uh, help of USA for Ukraine because maybe he was afraid that if he say, oh no, Trump, I will do nothing at all. Yeah. He can lose some uh, help from USA, but we can't lose help from USA or Europe because we have this problem war with Russia. So I think yeah. he tried to make like balance between I'll maybe I'll help, maybe I know I'll say something like Trump will understand like yes or no. Something. Well, and also he's from Hollywood, you know, in Hollywood, yeah. you just agree <laughs> with people. People yeah. say, hey, I want to make a movie with you. You go, yeah, yeah, let's do Let's set it up yeah. next week. And then you, you never see, show up. Not. To the <laughs> yeah, especially on the phone. I mean, blow him off. But he, maybe he partied yeah. with Hunter Biden back in the day. So he's in <laughs> Hollywood, Ukraine. Ukraine. The Hollywood Ukraine. of Ukraine. Does yeah. the Hollywood of Ukraine yeah. operate the same as our Hollywood? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it. I love you. I love you, baby. Love you. And then you don't do anything. Yeah, and Ukraine, did, the same stuff. Did Hunter Biden ever show. come to any yeah. comedy shows? Did you ever see him? At the- uh, I never <laughs> see Hunter <laughs> Biden or something similar guy who deals some stuff with cracks on the street. Never seen. No, no crack on the street. <laughs> no crack on the street in the Kiev. <laughs> no All right, Hunter guys, Biden we got to take a break. We're already halfway through this, baby, which means it's time, Kaplan, to talk about the world's smartest podcast network. That is me and you here, Lost in America. That is uh, Dr. Andrea Jones Roy at the uh, political, um, the Ask a Political Scientist Ask podcast, and Andrew Heaton, Dr. Profe- Andrew Heaton. Let's Why call not? him Professor Heaton. Professor Heaton yeah. at the Political Orphanage Show. And the three of us have the World's Smartest Podcast Network, World's Smartest Podcast Network.com. And we're putting on a live show July 30th. 30th or 31st? 31st, I believe. 31st. It's a Saturday <laughs> night. Stand up New York New, uh, right here in Manhattan. All four of us will be doing stand up. Kaplan will be back on the stand up comedy stage. He does Man. it once every 18 months. He does a set. So once doing- every 18 months until I'm the president. Of somewhere. <laughs> I don't know which country. Well, probably America, but maybe yeah. we'll all be doing stand up and then we'll be sitting down for a live round table. So get get your tickets at um uh stand up New York's website or Lost in America Podcast. Lost in America podcast website and uh, and see us there cap. Now we have, you know, we have our Patreon show, our $20 a month subscribers. They get a free app, one minute advertisement on this show. They can rate whatever they want. If they want to sell crack to Hunter Biden, they can, if they want to (laughs) promote their dad's business, they can anything they want once a month. Once a month, we'll, we will do, we'll say whatever they want us to say for, for, because they've given us $20. So, this is so what we have Dennis Owens, the great Dennis Owens out in Kansas DL, uh, baby. has asked us he's this is unusual. Normally people say, hey, I hate my neighbor. Can you just talk shit about him for a minute? You, we do yeah, that. My, my neighbor's a whore. Just go at yeah, it. Yeah. Or they have a real business to promote. Not very often, but sometimes Dennis Owens just wants us to talk for a minute about next year. And I want to ask you about this, Kaplan. Next year will be the first ever. Finally, the state of New York has gotten rid of Columbus Day. <laughs> or they have not gotten rid of it. They've added Indigenous Peoples Day. 
and they've made them happen on the same day. Now, in California, we got rid of Columbus Day in the early 90s. Yeah, so you talk about that a lot. You're 30 very years proud. behind You're very proud of yourselves, you California folks. Very proud. But we didn't replace it on the same day with anything. We added, we added another day. But yeah. um, now it'll be Indigenous people and Columbus Day on the same day in New York City. Dennis Owens is asked you, Kaplan, and I guess me, but let's go with you because you're more New Yorker than I am. What, what do you think will happen here? Well, it's going to be a real de- cult, youth. This is going to be a divide on the generations. This is a generational thing because okay. it's, it's still Columbus Day, but it's Indigenous People Day in the schools. Indigenous people needs means Native Americans, Anton. You can jump in on this, too, if you want. <laughs> so if you don't remember, so, uh, Columbus, area. Oh, okay. Columbus okay. got in a boat and he thought he, he landed killed in a bunch of Native Americans. And it turned out it was American. And we celebrate him. And I think we should at least pick a different explorer. If we're, we have to honor some explorer. So is here's there the one deal, Anton. Killed Magellan? <laughs> Italian Americans in the United States celebrate Columbus. So even though we're not even sure if he's Italian, he might be Portuguese. He might be Spanish. Yeah, Portugal, I think. Yeah, yeah I think. but they don't know that. They think he's Italian. <laughs> so they celebrate him. Italians celebrate him, and the mafia does. I'll probably get yeah. killed for this. Yeah. So they celebrate him. So if you take away Columbus Day in the city, in the state of New York, the Italians get very angry. So they've just added oh. Native American Day. But now the Native Americans are going to celebrate and the, the Columbus people who celebrate killing the Native Americans, they're going to celebrate all on the same day. So it's gonna are be- we going to it's going to be like rival parties? Are you going to have like, wow. like, gonna have like this- we're going to, you know, like when you have a protest <laughs> and they, the police make sure the people are on one side. Yeah. The Trumpers are on one side. Or the- There's going to be a lot of shootings. Let's it's just gonna- say that. Is yeah, it, well, Israelis are on one side of the palace. Yeah, 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 it's like you got to have the. You, can also, the you Italian... can also invite Russia. Russia, like, there is a lot of shooting. <laughs> invite Russia stuff. Yeah. It's very Russia. I mean, I've, there was a Sopranos <laughs> episode where they wanted to get rid of the Columbus Day parade and they went, the mobsters went and like beat someone up, I think. So I don't Yeah, exactly. This is, okay. this is dangerous. I'm like, they're joking. <laughs> I'm like, they're joking about massive shooting, all this stuff. I'm feeling like I'm in, I'm in USA stand up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you got it. I just think it needs to. Have... Fi- yeah. I have uh, a bad joke, maybe, but I'll try to make it in English. Uh, I think that we're always talking about this uh, Hunter Biden crack stuff. He needs some yeah. crack, as I understand. We can ask money for now from USA, not for us, but like, this is for your son, Joe. This We need money for crack for your son. So give us money, please. We will bought yeah, some we stuff. give money to the Ukraine right. government. They guarantee they'll give it straight to Hunter Biden for more crack. And that's a the good best idea. Crack. Because he'll stay out of he'll stay out of our president's, you know, our president Biden doesn't need more distractions. So no, just dude, let, let his, his son live in live in the Ukraine for four years, crack him up, give him as much crack, crack as he up. needs. Is, that's then, nice. That, this is that's nice. That's better plan than Zelensky had. That's better that's plan better than plan. Zelensky had. <laughs> All right. Now <laughs> let's get to a word from thank you, Dennis Owens. Let's get to a word from your local sponsor. All right, we're back. Second half of the show. Let's get into it. Yeah. Those are all the ads. Um, now, where, where do we want to go next? I'm kind of lost here in the moment. A lot of oh. stuff you're talking about. Oh, yeah. So yeah. how's he doing? So what are what are the what about with the oligarchs? I know his big move was yeah. he wanted to get rid of oligarchs. Does he want but, to create a, a list of- or something? Or- well, wait, but there was an idea yeah. that his TV channel, his TV station was owned by an oligarch. So he was yeah, doing business correct. with an oligarch <laughs> when he wanted to get rid of the oligarchs. How has he done so far in getting rid of them? And yeah, as Kaplan said, he created his idea was to create a list of he's, all of them. His so idea was to treat yeah. them like they're sexual, like uh, child molesters in America, where we put them on a list so that everyone knows, you know, you have a neighbor <laughs> who's an oligarch. <laughs> so don't, you don't just let your kids you have all the oligarchs in your phone, like, uh, yeah. like a context. Oh, yeah, yeah. it gives you an alert. An oligarch just moved into your, to your down the street. <laughs> your phone, yeah. So uh, if- that's yeah, that's interesting move. Uh, for now, I'm not sure it uh, can do some real stuff. For now, it sounds like populism stuff because he he said about this. Yeah, the our government uh, agreed this law, the law against. Oligarchs. It sounds in English like their like oligar- <laughs> their their oligarchization law. It means like he said we will fight with oligarchs, something like that. Right. But in in this in this law in this uh, in this law, a lot of stuff that yes, we need to list of oligarchs of Ukraine. There's like a great criteria of this. Uh, how to, to understand that your friend? To- yeah, yeah, there is like a, 
mm, the description how to understand that your friend is an oligarch. Oh, really? He needs to have a lot of money, <laughs> a TV channel, probably. Yeah, uh, exactly. yeah, because what makes, yeah, what makes an oligarch? I was going to ask you, like, what's yeah. the difference between a really rich what guy and an, an oligarch? oligarch of you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like TV show, really. Like, they, they, uh, they, they, it's, they, it sounds like reality, reality show, you know. Uh, I'm not sure it will work because uh, in this, like, for, for example, our oligarchs answer on this uh, situation like this. Akhmetov, one of the most richest guy in Ukraine, Renat Akhmetov, he said, I'm not oligarch. I'm like a mecenat, how to say in English, like people of the art. Uh, Philanthropist <laughs> or... But yeah, right. I'm a philanthropist. I'm not an oligarch. I'm, I just have a lot of money to help people right. <laughs> in well, by the world. Being a, does being an oligarch make you a bad person by definition? Like you could be a yeah, charitable yeah, yeah. oligarch, right? I mean, That's just char have, charitable guy, just charitable guy, not the oligarch. You can, you can own a football for, team and at least, you know, Chelsea or something. Yeah, someone. for now, for now, as I know, we have more sanctions. We have more sanctions against oligarch from USA, <laughs> like against Colum Whiskey, we have sanctions from USA against list of de deputies. And in Ukraine, we don't have so, such many uh, sanctions. I need to say that one of the good signs that Zelensky made, he start, start to struggle with uh, Russian oriental uh, politics in Ukraine. I mean, we have like uh, Medvedchuk, Viktor, and his friends. Viktor Medvedchuk, it's like, a, servant of russia in ukraine because he always talking like russia is nice country this only civil war in ukraine russia tried to help us Viktor medvedchuk tried to make russia like a good country and zelensky start to struggle with him and for now this medvedchuk's uh, he in uh, uh, how to say not in, not in prison but uh, the place before prison while the investigations moves he sit uh, like, like a holding uh, cell or something, maybe a jail. Oh yeah, yeah. he 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 not uh, he's in a home. Uh, oh, arrest, house arrest. Like, house arrest. This is Victor. House arrest, yeah, yeah. 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 The, he's Medvedchuk, a Putin. He's Medvedchuk. he's very pro Russia, right? He's that's the ah. He's a he's a Putin's uh, cum. Cr uh, how, how to say cum? Uh, uh, like a, Godfather. Putin's oh, God, oh. Godfather. <laughs> Putin is Putin's his Godfather. Godfather. No, no, no. Uh, Putin, Putin is from what I read. Godfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Putin you know, is the Godfather of his daughter. Yeah, right. and now isn't that cool to have a have home. a real mobster as a godfather to your kid? That's awesome. <laughs> the like, godfather. The godfather. He's literally the godfather. Yeah, <laughs> this guy. So, so we, yeah, uh, but with this but, idea, but there is yeah, but, but, what is the problem? You need to understand that he starts to struggle with this Medvedchuk. He makes his house arrest for Medvedchuk, but he sometimes Zelensky made this like a good stuff, but with uh, his methods are out authoritarian. You know, like he just said, okay, we will. Yeah. We'll take this guy in a prison, but without any like uh, uh, no trial. Leaky. Is that the, f the idea that you got to fight like power with power? Without, kind of without no clue. Without no clue. Like we have a couple of clue. That's enough. Uh, like a couple of evidence. That's enough to get. Yeah, to there's no job. real trial. There's right. no anything. Yeah. that's what I wanted to. There ask. is a, but right. there, is, there is a there is a trial, but it looks like not. It's a little bit uh, fake looking. Like. A little bit, not the like you know the guy. You know the guy's guilty of something. You know he's a Putin yes, yes. buddy, but you don't actually yeah. have much evidence that he did anything wrong. So you just like, throw him in. Just a couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, uh, we have uh, like uh, the big, uh, the big new in Ukraine because our uh, national security uh, system, it's not system, but as <laughs> uh, Okay, sorry about my English understanding of the. No, it's um, okay, man. The people who are like agents, like CRU in, in USA. CIA? Uh, CIA? Or, like CIA, but Ukrainian you're, you're, stuff. I mean, yeah, okay. Like Ukrainian CIA. Let's <laughs> Ukrainian. go with that. Ukra uh, this, this sounds like so, something cool. Ukrainian CIA. Yeah. yeah they mm, show the, the, they listen in the phone of Medvedchuk like five years. And there are a lot of uh, his conversation with Putin. And they show this conversation for all the people, like in internet. So we yeah. listen how Medvedchuk's talking with Putin. And also on these uh, conversations, we heard that Medvedchuk always talking with Putin and Poroshenko. And Poroshenko knows that Medvedchuk talking with Putin. So Poroshenko now in some kind of bad story. So, so he's now he's uh, rep well. Yeah, his reputation now is going down because uh, if we listen for these conversations, we understand that Poroshenko 
have some high negotiations with Putin with Russia. So and this some, some there is a lot of stuff of uh, corruption on this on these tapes. So yeah. So that's a good sign. So so Zelensky has taken down this one oligarch and really taken him down. He stripped him of his probably, business. Yes. He put him in jail. Um, yeah. He probably didn't make. Uh, he, but he's also the godfather of. Um, <laughs> of uh, of or, or Putin is his daughter. Putin's daughter. not going to take that lying down. That's like an insult <laughs> to Putin, isn't he? Gonna? I mean, that's. <laughs> but you know, uh, that's uh, maybe I, I I tried to explain this stuff. One funny stuff of this tapes of Medvedchuk's conversations with Putin. When you listen these tapes, you understand that Medvedchuk's for Putin. It's like a, it's like a servant. It's not like a, Medvedchuk was not like a serious guy for Putin. Yes, oh. a, Medve, Putin is godfather, but they use Medvedchuk just like a people who brings food, you know, on quarantine stuff. Okay, do this stuff, do this stuff. Medvedchuk's like, okay, I'll do this, I'll do mm. like this. Okay, thank you, Putin. Can I talk with Putin, please? Like one second, please. I need to talk with my my Putin. So he sounds like really bad, like a how this uh, guy, like a golem from the Lord of the Rings, you know, like <laughs> ah, nah, Putin. Everyone you, in the world friend. watches Lord of the Rings. That's what we found on <laughs> this show. Of course, except for, except for of us. course. <laughs> for us. R- Russia, uh, Russia, my precious, all this stuff, you know. What about okay? So I have, a, I have a list of things that um, that Zelensky said once he got into office he would do, and now you can tell me if he's done these things because it's been two years. So one is he would maintain a pro-Western stance, that he would be maintain friendly to the West, to Europe, to the United yeah, States. That kind that's of yes, yeah, correct. So he do all this stuff. He's His, done uh, Politics are going to the. West to the USA to the Europe, not for Russia. I mean, he wants to be That's more it. involved with NATO, right? I mean, okay. Well, he, let me just go through the list here. He always, he always say he wants oh, to go yeah. to NATO, to European Union. Yes, he always, he always, rem- he always repeat and this Putin, stuff. And Putin does not want that to happen, obviously. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> we understand that Ukraine need to make some reforms to get to the NATO, to get to the European Union, and this is the problem. That Zelensky said, "Yes, I won't go to NATO. I was European. U- I want to go to European Union." But sometimes he made uh, like uh, a lot of his friends in power. If you have a lot of friends, like relatives, not not relatives, but friends from the, his show in power, we understand that European Union will not say, oh, that's OK. <laughs> if you have some friends in power, that's fine. No, this corruption. So, yeah, we are waiting for so next step. Number two, uh, he will fight. <laughs> well, we've already talked about this. That He said he'll fight corruption. So. It seems like he is he fighting not. corruption with his enemies, not with but, himself. Yeah, but not. But he's yeah. kind of becoming authoritarian. You know, talking about talking talking in uh, Mortal Kombat uh, vocabulary, he start to fight, but he he now. didn't make fatality for now. <laughs> we now we're talking about language. <laughs> Fight. Yeah, he, he got, all, this, all the guys. Well, down. and with this in mind, um, one of the this idea of yeah, fighting. I can, cr- I can, um, yeah. I need to say, I, I, I like to say like some jokes about Zelensky, but I need to say one more good stuff that he, his relationship is Kolomoisky, this guy uh, of the channel that he working on TV show, the oh, Kolomoisky, the, the oligarch the Golem. TV channel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he, as I know, he. He has like not good uh, relationship with this um, Kolomoisky oligarch because there was there was a big story about private bank. I don't think I can explain it too fast, but the problem is that Kolomoisky lose one of his business in Ukraine and can't turn it back. That's one okay. of the good stuff that Zelensky made. Okay, so this idea that Zelensky might be corrupted by the his friend who owns a TV station that has not happened. Well, I think no. I think yeah. no. All right, well, that's no. good. Um, but he but hasn't with, fought it like too much, is because like you were saying again to the European Union, they need to be less corrupt in general, more. Yeah. And well, it seems like it he's means fighting to get to European Union or or NATO, for example. Uh, it not means like only Zelensky don't need to be corrupt, and all the system not to be mm-hmm. need not to be corrupt. But Zelensky can be cl- clean guy. I, I, I believe that Zelensky, he don't need like a lot of money and he will not grow. But people around Zelensky, His they team. continue, <laughs> continue to steal money. And he didn't uh, see this or just don't want to see this problem. So that's one of the most. He's too trusting, now. it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> something like well, one of the other things that we came across, which is pretty crazy, is that 
the governor or no the the mayor of Kiev 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 right now Kiev. sorry Kiev Kiev, Kiev. 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 is yeah. one of Kiev. the Klitschko brothers the oh, boxer right. yeah. the yes. boxer cool yeah. guy we know him oh, that's cool. we know. It, very it, corruption guy very corruption but the cool one <laughs> i dream of a day when he's the president and when pacquiao's the president of the philippines and they have a summit and <laughs> they fight uh, <laughs> yeah just we can make klitschko president and just say okay just uh, give a punch for putin on some meeting oh like, yeah he, left oh, jet for putin. so so it seems like <laughs> Zelensky is now going after i read he's going after klitschko because Klitschko might be his competitor in a in a future presidential race, and so maybe in the future. In on, on the last elections, Zelensky has one, uh, had one of the competitor from the show business. It was Svetoslav Vakarchuk. It was a sinner, one of the famous sinner of Ukraine. Also, go for election for president, but on the last stage, singer, he said, "Okay, I'll know." A sinner, yeah. You have a like singer. a celebrity party where like you own like a <laughs> yeah. tournament or like a draw you, of the tournament where like this is the you, celebrity area. You yeah, guys battle Ukraine out. Just, Ukraine just a party country. You can like drink some champagne, <laughs> shooting <laughs> in Russian people and <laughs> give some oh, jokes. I mean, political party. Like very interesting <laughs> stuff here. <laughs> it, makes, it makes it more fair though. If every candidate's a celebrity, then you lose that whole thing where you're like, oh, I, I know them. Like they're all, it, it evens it all out. No that's more equal time on TV. Well, and there's no more like yeah, unfair yeah, advantage yeah. of being famous. So that, that's maybe the way to go. We yeah. should have all celebrity candidates. <laughs> that's one of the specialty specific stuff of Ukraine that we like will not have show business and politics like separate. For now, right. like show business and politicians are mixed up. And we have a lot of guys in government who was like on some kind of TV show. Or we also have some comedian like a, a deputy in our government you have a they deputy comedian now. deputy comedian I mean, we have, yeah. well i'm a i'm a i'm a governor at the friars club you're a governor i'm very torn on this Whoa. whole thing because you know Zelensky is a jewish comedian so i'm i'm preferential to him but then i had a ukrainian cab driver 15 years ago tell me i look like a klitschko brother wanted me to know if i was like the lost oh brother. yeah i'm 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 thinking what's your face like similar <laughs> yes, on yeah you yes, look like yes. klitschko <laughs> I I haven't been punched as much, but, but, so but I, I kind of like. Uh, I've always liked him because of that. I'm like, yeah, hey, I look a little bit like him. So I. So you I looks like Lichko. To... You looks like Lichko, but after Lennox Lewis beat your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if Klitschko becomes president, could I go around and be like the Hunter Biden of Ukraine, where I could like get some perks at a? <laughs> no, you, Kaplan, yeah, you, you could be. You can move to Ukraine and be like. You know that people get famous because they do a good Trump impression and yes. they look like Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm you a little do. shorter though. If people saw me, that's a problem. I'm like, I, you yeah, have I'm, chance. You have I'm chance. the other brother. I'm like, the, there was the, the, yeah, third, the, third, the third, third, third Manning brother for the American. <laughs> the hide, the hide brother of Kalishko. Wow, what's a story? <laughs> Ukraine's people like story before election, you know, yeah, they like you go. stories. You gotta have a good <laughs> so story. Bring me hey, in for the story. It's Hollywood. We all know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ukraine's okay, politician, had... politician Hollywood of the world, we can say like this. <laughs> he also said he would, uh, uh, Zelensky said he would create um, a body, like a, a board or a, a government institution to investigate financial crimes in the country. Has he done that? Yeah, but uh, uh, yes, but I'm not sure. As I remember, it's already worse in Ukraine. Like, oh. you know, uh, because the European Union tried to help Ukraine to fight the corruption. For now, in Ukraine, we had some kind of like a f maybe five this uh, uh, type of uh, CIA, <laughs> oh, <laughs> five yeah. type of CIA that uh, uh, struggle with financial corruption. Maybe he didn't because know that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, as, as I remember, yeah, uh, after the Lensky election, the anti corruption uh, trail, trail, uh, trial, where judge yeah. working. Yeah, a judge trial. works in a, tra in a trial, yeah. In the court? We yeah. had in the co uh, court, yeah, in the yeah. court. Yes, we have anti corruption court for now, but as, as I remember, uh, it started to create in, in Poroshenko period. So it, I can say this only Zelensky. Uh, on, this is on the Zelensky one. Well, that's a good this. one, Kaplan, because like that's that's a good move. If you ever run Kaplan ran for city council, he didn't win, but he, he ran for local politics. I haven't conceded yet, though. I'm waiting for all the votes to be counted. But if you ever <laughs> run again, you promise things that have already been done. <laughs> That's yeah, a yeah, good that's idea. Really important. <laughs> or things that you know are going to get done that you No, they've already been done. Yeah, that's even better. Because people yeah, don't look yeah, it up. Yeah. 
<laughs> I promise. I promise you will have some kind of cars, not the horses on the street. I promise yeah, exactly. this stuff. Yeah. I promise Thank to get rid you. of Columbus Day. To t- <laughs> 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 this um, people parade. But yeah. And then the one more he would strip. Oh, this was interesting. Strip. It says strip immun- immunity from the members of parliament and the judges. So that means that. Oh, yeah. yeah they yeah, can't immunity, be arrested. Yeah. The members of parliament. The Yeah. That's um, that's interesting question because he did uh, this stuff like we have this special law and government are voting and they yes they cancel this immunity for deputy and judge but uh, as I understand in Ukrainian constitutions we have like a couple of articles that's talking about this immunity like we have three or two articles that's talking about immunity and they cancel one of this article and it's like. They don't oh. have immunity, but maybe sometimes <laughs> they will have. It's difficult to understand. But for example, Viktor Medvedchuk, this uh, investigation against Medvedchuk, uh, he goes to house arrested without this procedure to get off his immunity. So as I understand, it works for now. So they didn't. They don't have immunity. But and as immunity I understand, would they leave that some. Basically, if you're a judge, you can't be arrested for any crimes. Is that what it was yeah. before? Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Before you can be arrested uh, if you're deputy or judge, but the govern, the govern need to vote for this. Like we have 450 deputy in our govern, and if you wanted to have some card against judge or deputy, we need a special this uh, event where this guy need to vote. Like if you have 300 votes to start investigation about this judge, they will start. And now. They didn't need to vote. Yeah, you so just treated like a treated like a normal person, like a normal person. Mm. But as I understand, they hide some kind of uh, stuff in our constitutions to uh, to move. Like judge can move something. Like if if they need to, and this this is really difficult to explain because even in Ukrainian, it's difficult to understand how this immunity works for now. We don't have judge against. We don't have trials against judge for now. I'm not. Don't remember that we have. And the judge system is one of the ma- most problem in Ukraine for now. And maybe ninety percent of the problems in our country is because our judges are corrupted very, <laughs> very much. Okay. And we need to deal with this stuff. And people waiting for this. Yeah. This is why Trump picked your country to do shady business with. Okay. Some kind. <laughs> It was a good idea. And what about, okay, so here's a quote I want to read to you that we found from Nove Vremyaya, a newspaper. Nove Nove Vremyaya. Yes, I read this quote. New time. New time. New time. New time. New time. And the New Time time. Weekly newspaper. Like New York. Magazine. Oh, like the New York Times. They've said, um, this is the way they're describing his presidency now, Zelensky's presidency. They said, not as bad as we thought. It would be, but still quite bad. Is that true? I could love a blur. <laughs> I want to say I want that to be a blur about our podcast. <laughs> Not as I bad would... as we thought, but still quite bad. Lost I would love America that to be like, podcast. put that on the on the front of the homepage, a reviewer. <laughs> Seth Simons best, or whatever. No. <laughs> the best message. Not the best. But not yeah. Yeah, that's that's really that's really accurate quote. That's accurate that's way really to describe accurate. him. And yeah, what's his future look like? What does, does yeah. when does he have to get reelected again? Uh, he promised this interesting too. He promised when he go for the elections, he said, I'll go for one term. Uh, I will not we, go for two terms. He mm, promised. But I then after the, after the year on press conference, he said, uh, journalist asked him, uh, do you want to make some new term? And he said, I think maybe yes. <laughs> yeah, they always <laughs> prom- they always promise that, but then when you have somebody like wiping your ass for you, and then, always, you know, yeah, you, you, it's hard to say no to the. You power, can't take so. just one bite of the apple. It's really, it's really strange. <laughs> yeah, really strange for me. He said, "Oh, this is so difficult. This is so difficult to be president, but I want to one more time." Yeah, yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's a good gig. Of course, you. who doesn't? Want Otherwise, he's got to go back to being a comedian. I mean. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can't go back to being <laughs> yeah. a comedian now, can oh, you? That's, oh, wow. We talked we talked about this. Is it possible to back to the comedy? Well, yeah. you can make a ni- nice show if you just you know like he will uh, lose the election, and then uh, if I see the poster on the street, like 
Zelensky make a comedy show, I'll go for it. It's <laughs> comeback yeah. tour. I want to see what he will. Yeah, comeback tour will be very. It would very be nice, pretty nice amazing move. to watch a high level comedian then go up and talk about what it was like to be president, like in a stand up environment. Did he ever do stand up or was yeah. he an actor? Or what was his? Um, he did some kind of stand up, but it was like, uh, like in Ukraine, we have uh, different type of school of stand up. Like school? the young guys, no, well, something like this. Young guys like me, we try, we like uh, West kind of stand up. The American like style, Carly, the European, Louis, yeah. Yeah, British Chappelle, style. yeah, all these, all, all these guys, we watch and love them. And uh, Zelensky, he old guy who never see maybe Chappelle or some guy like this. So he makes monologue very like, like, uh, I don't know, difficult to compare because even the old guys in USA, like Richard Pryor, they had nice stand up, but he is like the old he's 43 guy. 43 years old, about... by the way. He keeps saying, yeah, he's <laughs> not know, that old. He's my you age. Know. <laughs> the he same said, age. I just looked it up. I didn't know. <laughs> He said, you know, women's women's are not the same. Like a man's. Did you notice this stuff? Oh, yes. oh he does that kind of bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't drive a car Every... like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so stupid like people this. on the streets. Yeah, it's like you can make some deep stuff. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing at our live show. I'm the 43 year old. So he's a hack. You're just saying he's a hack. <laughs> yeah, Richard hack, Pryor yeah, was okay. no hack. Richard Pryor was talking about getting lit, lit on fire in a, in a whorehouse or whatever. So... That's it's a little job. deeper that's than nice, men drive nice, like this, good. women drive like this. Um, <laughs> what about, because in America uh, we go, uh, you'll do like white I, people I can, are like this, black people are like this. Is there like a racial Russian, thing? Like, Russians, you go after, did you go after Russians? Yeah. Russians do this, Ukrainians do this. Uh, do we have a racial question about Russians well, like co and Comedian, Ukraine, like comic. Like, like does the, the comedian, uh -huh. do you do jokes about Russians? Uh, <laughs> I have, oh. My stand-up, I had, I, I show you the poster. I had, uh, like, I send you a poster of my last stand-up tour. I had, like, very, very politician stand-up for last time. Political, I wrote yeah. one hour, uh, one hour political stand-up about uh, our problems, about revolution, about uh, war, little bit, separatism, about elections, all this stuff, but try to make it fun with jokes to, sure. I, I hope that comedy can solve some kind of problems of people and maybe solve some conflicts we don't uh russians uh, the problem not the problem the specific the uh, of the comedy of ukraine and russia for example russia have enough money to make like stand-up shows and there's a lot of stand-up com comedians in russia who works a lot and have a lot of tours in ukraine we don't have so much money in stand-up don't have so much many late night shows so we need to uh work in like a small scale and our style little bit similar can be but uh even in Russia, there's guys who try to make something like the West comedian, like something deep, big themes, like with problems, with positions. And there is a guys who make, as I understand, hacks, like uh, short jokes about simple stuff of a simple life. Like, oh, I bought a milk and I spill, spoil this milk. Oh, that's very bad. You know, it's difficult Relatable to say. Relatable humor. But Russian hack comedy is so funny. Yeah. yeah the pe yeah. peasant humor, we call that. No. Peasant <laughs> Russian. <laughs> so the situation in Ukraine, Russia, this comedy like a little bit similar about the style. That's the, you're asking about the future of Zelensky. And yeah. uh, uh, sometimes it's a little bit, uh, I'm worried about my country and people worried. Like you, you live in stress because when you have war in your country, and when you have the president as a comedian, sometimes you just start to think, wow, wow, how we will handle with this stuff? Because our main guy is a comedian and we have a war. Yeah, because when that's you live a serious in Kyiv, topic, a war. Uh, in, in Kyiv, I don't have war in Kyiv because war on Donbass and Crimea. And that's why you like each Ukrainian people like me, we live like in a two different worlds on the same times. One world as a usual world with beautiful streets and all this stuff is okay. Stand up comedian shows jokes and other stuff like is huge, very bad stuff on the East. And you always need to remember this stuff. And you start to worry about our future. But uh, after 2014, after this revolution we had in Ukraine, um, our society became more, you know, unite, more, uh, we understand that we we will we can solve our problems by my by ourselves. Like people, if you don't have money for army from from the government, 
we just collect money from the people and give it to the our warriors to say okay we just collect some money on the streets and give wow. for our army because we know we need this money in army if our government doesn't have this money we'll get it by, by ourselves and this feeling that our people are involved in politics and we have a lot of activists guys who always watching i also uh, for example for example my ex girlfriend she was a Shut investigation ju- ju- <laughs> she was investigation journalist uh, so uh, and i involved on in her job and i saw a lot of like you know like this um, it's a magic feeling when you see young uh, women like girls like 25 years like five girls and all of them investigation journalists and all of them looking for the uh, judge corruption judge corruption deputies they are uh, i forget the word slashka give me a second shadowing shadowing chase like these chasing, girls, ch- chasing, these yeah. girls, these girls chasing deputies, they chasing judge uh, to film them and show, oh, this is corruption, wow. fucking uh, alien. Corruption Expose. 25 Expose. years girls, and you you thinking, wow, if, if in if in my country I have people like this, we will do all this stuff very good. <laughs> we yeah. will solve all it's the not problems. always good so. to be followed by five 25 year old Ukrainian girls. <laughs> <laughs> I would think it would be good. <laughs> give you a, give you. A, <laughs> So there's Great. hope. You're feeling good about the future, then, is what you're saying. To- yeah, I'm feeling good about the future because of the people, not because of the landscape, Great. but because of the people in Ukraine. The, 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 the tr- and working. the Russian troops, like, build up on the border. That's just, as you say, flexing muscles, and the show will go on. But I mean, not- part of it, they said, was it could be Biden. I mean, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Putin, Co- could be, no. Biden, Putin could be doing this to test Biden, almost. Like, Biden's a new president, yeah. so yeah. what will he do if we do this whole thing? Um. Crazy man. Well, thank we, you so we are, much. We are we are interested too. What Biden will do? <laughs> yeah, I guess Russia, you're more interested. The muscles. We're yeah. more interested because sleepy Joe to the rescue. That we, <laughs> <laughs> we can solve this problem by ourselves, but uh, I don't think that Russia are ready for like a war, like a open war with Ukraine. Because let's let's take a lot of. Uh, energy for Russia and I'm not sure and not sure people in Russia will be ready for open war people in Russia are ready for this some kind of cold war like a hide war people in Russia don't want to see the okay this war I don't want to think about it but if Russia will have open war I think people will think okay that's, it's that's too, much. too much right probably. Putin wants to have a small little battles to show his strength to distract maybe from Navalny or other things but to have a big war an open yeah to get you know that then yeah. you lose a lot of lives and people might get mad so yeah yeah, yeah. well that's it guys uh i gotta run that's it uh thank you anton for doing it anton uh thank Timoshenko, you. everybody check him out yes. and best of luck to your country whether it's Zelensky or klitschko it, or whoever your Ukraine. president is <laughs> maybe i maybe i'm the you, next i'm not sure about this i'm not sure maybe it's you president yeah you should be we need to make one of our guest presidents one day that'd be oh, good also <laughs> We should end on this. Is it Ukraine or the Ukraine, as Kaplan said? <laughs> oh, Ukraine without that. Oh, without right. that. Ah, like there you go. The, I got to get all my news from Seinfeld. I think That's they, a great blowhard. Ukraine is Kaplan. If, if I know they're using only for the the United Kingdom, yeah, like for it. Yeah, I, you, I'm like, you're artist. teaching me English here. So thank you. <laughs> Ukraine. That's it, Cap. Ukraine. What should we do? Uh, we should get lost. Get lost. <laughs>